Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. In today's video, I'm gonna give you seven tips for the best center channel setup in your home theater. Now, if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Michael Stevens with Youth Man Reviews. I produce content on home theater tips, tours, and reviews. So if that interests you, make sure you're subscribed. So tip number one, do not mix match brands. Now what I mean by that is with your front three speakers in particular, you wanna make sure that they're of the same brand and if you can, make sure they're also from the same series. Now if you take a look at this setup for example, this would not be an ideal setup. You've got Klipsch RF7 version threes as my front left and front right, but then I've got a Polk Audio center channel. Now Klipsch and Polk Audio have an entirely different sound signature not to mention they utilize different tweeters as well as mid-range drivers. Now if you were watching a movie and sound were to travel from the left speaker to the center speaker to the right speaker, it's gonna have this weird fluctuation in pitch as well as just tonal character. And so it's not going to sound natural. So my advice is always to match your front speakers, your left, your center and right with the same brand and also the same series. Tip number two, do not skimp out on a cheap center channel speaker. Think about this, the center channel is one of the most crucial components of a great home theater. And so about 80% of everything that you see on your screen is going to pass through that center channel. So why would you want to skimp out and try to save a few bucks by getting the cheap center channel when that component is very vital to a great home theater experience. So if you need to cut corners and maybe buy something a little bit less expensive to kind of help fit the budget, do that with your surrounds or maybe your Atmos speakers, but do not reduce the budget for the center channel. It's absolutely crucial. Tip number three, when possible, go with an LCR. Now what I mean by that, an LCR are three identical speakers up front a left channel, a center channel, and a right channel speaker. Now in most home theaters, you see that there's a horizontal center channel. So you have a tweeter in the middle and maybe a mid-range on the left and a mid-range on the right. And that's typical. The reason we have those is most home theaters, especially if you've got it in a living room setup, they're not going to allow the space for a vertical center channel speaker. But if you have the room for it, having three identical speakers is absolutely the best front center stage that you're going to have in a home theater setup. And the reason being is because you've got identical speakers and identical components. So when sound travels from that left channel to center channel to right speaker, it's absolutely seamless and you've got a killer home theater center channel that's going to sound awesome. So in my setup, I have an LCR. Behind my 150 inch screen, I have three JTR Noesis 212 HTRs and it absolutely sounds phenomenal. Sound when panning from left to right or right to left is absolutely seamless. Now in my previous home theater setup in this room, I had a 103 inch screen, but it was not acoustic transparent. And so I couldn't place a center channel speaker directly behind it. And so I had to mount my center channel speaker above the screen, which was entirely too high. So when watching a movie, it was kind of odd hearing the sound come from above the screen, even though I'm watching action on the screen. So this brings me to point number four, when possible, place your center channel speaker directly behind an acoustic transparent screen. This is exactly how your local home cinema is set up. The speakers are placed directly behind the screen because that's where the action is coming from and it just makes it a more believable experience when watching a movie. Now I realize a lot of you are setting up home theaters in your living room or maybe in a bedroom, and so you probably don't have the ability to use an acoustic transparent screen. So I'm gonna give you a few tips that'll help you if you've got a horizontal center channel. Tip number five is move your center channel to the front edge of your cabinet. Now I can't tell you how many times I see this in Facebook groups and forums where guys will show pictures of their setups and their center channel will be placed really far back on their entertainment center. Now the problem with this is sound coming from your center channel is going to reflect off of that flat surface of your entertainment center. And so that's gonna cause some acoustic issues and really going to hinder the clarity of the dialogue from your center channel. So here you can see what not to do. You don't want your center channel placed far back. 
So we're gonna grab that center channel and move it to the front edge of the entertainment center, and that's gonna provide for a much better experience. Tip number six is if you have a center channel that is rear ported, it's not a good idea to place that inside a cabinet in like the little cubby hole that a lot of entertainment centers have for center channel speakers. So the obvious issue here is with a rear ported speaker, you're going to have a lot of frequencies, especially lower frequencies that are exiting the rear of that speaker through those ports. And then it's going to be bouncing around causing a boominess inside that cabinet. And that's definitely not a good thing. So my recommendation there is to get a cabinet that you can place the center channel on top of the entertainment center as opposed to inside of it. But if you are going to place a center channel inside a cabinet, my recommendation would be to purchase a center channel that is sealed and not ported. And tip number seven, try to get all three of your front three speakers tweeters at the same height. Again, this is just going to help with continuity when sound is traveling from one speaker to another, and that's just gonna provide for a more seamless sound stage up front. Now, a lot of you guys are rocking these really large TVs. Maybe you've got a 75 inch LCD or an 85 inch OLED, and this TV is taking up a lot of real estate up in the front of the room. And so for you, it may not be possible and feasible for you to mount your center channel higher to be able to be in line with the tweeter of your front left and right speaker. Now in that situation, you're probably going to be mounting your center channel below your screen, and it might actually be firing really low, maybe even as low as your knees. That's not ideal because your center channel speaker has a tweeter, and that tweeter is very directional in its sound. So to remedy that, the best thing to do is just place something below the center channel to angle that tweeter towards your listening position. Now, when I review center channels here in my home theater, a lot of times I'll bring in a small little box that I'll place the center channel on. And as you can see here in this image, I've got a couple of towels underneath it just to raise that up. Now, of course, that doesn't look great, but I'm just doing it for audible sound reviews and not for aesthetics. Now on Amazon, you can find all types of foam speaker stands. And so this will allow you to place that underneath the center channel speaker and it'll angle that front up towards your listening position. Likewise, if you have to mount your center channel above your TV, you can also find some various mounts that will angle the rear of it up so that that speaker is aimed down towards your listening position. Well guys, I truly believe these seven tips will drastically improve your center channel experience. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe because I produce weekly content on home theater tips, tours, and reviews. I'd also love to hear your favorite home theater center channel tip down in the comments below. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.